This conference will now be recorded. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Can you hear me? Telugu, ah? No, yes, yes. Okay. So, ma, where are you actually from? You're, you're from New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey, ma'am. I'm in mean, New Jersey. Actually. And you're in Hyderabad or? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Hyderabad. Yes. One second. Sure, I'm going to interview you. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, actually, and then I work in the reporting side, I, as I told you, right? So I work in the reporting side. So internally within my organization, there was a role open. So I applied for that role, functional role. So, I have to see how it will go. <laughs> okay. When you say reporting on which module is it? I basically report on all modules. So, BMP, chargeback, rebase. Okay. Pertaining to mistakes uh, reporting, you're saying? Okay. No, no, no. Pertaining to actually everything. SAP reporting, not just mistakes. Uh, O2C. Oh, okay. P2P, M2D, R2R, pretty much have all the modules. Your name is showing as Mark. What is your full name? Actually, uh, my, uh, my Vijay, my name is Vijay. I okay, don't know yeah, why yeah. I gave that kind of a nickname long ago and it was just continuing like that. Okay, okay. When I think yes. created that account, it was asking give a nickname. So I just put okay. something there at that time. And I just, it just shows up like that way. Okay. Yeah. And Vijay Bhaskar actually. Yeah. My name is. Okay, okay. You are Vijay Bhaskar. Okay. Okay. Which place you are in? Sorry, Sorry Hyderabad actually. Where is Hyderabad? Hyderabad, I mean, I'm in Yapur actually. Oh, me, I put this side, okay. Some other guys are yeah. still in time. <coughs> Give me one second. So for for your case, I think uh, how it will it will be like uh, both uh, pharma and so they will be they are like the big ones, right? So both the sides. Basically, be... I was I was in Pfizer actually. So from Pfizer, Pfizer we kind of we kind of spun off as a separate company. Uh, we just do the animal health. So all the oh. manufacturing, I mean all the medic vaccines and stuff for animals. <laughs> okay. So it's it's called Zoetis. 
the client is or it is so okay. it uh, it's a separate animal health uh, spun off from pfizer actually so that's why we kind of manufacture all the medicines we have devices too so right now right till now we have more vaccines and all that stuff products uh, but now we are entering into devices acquiring more companies in where you know these diagnostic devices where you do this blood test and all that stuff for the animals just like human but okay. it's more geared towards animals yeah yeah pet uh, for pets sir uh, for pet yeah animals, for one for pets sir all animals no no it, it's animals. live it's livestock it's a yeah. companion animal when yeah it's it's a pretty much lot of species yeah if we have fish we have uh, cattle we have livestock we have uh, swine yeah okay we do have yeah good number of person yeah we are like number one in the world from animal health standpoint what is it zoatis and zvo v a t zoatis z z o e t i s zoatis okay z o e t i s okay yeah So for for you, if you go into Vistex, I think uh, you you are having a reference system, right? So you are having the Pfizer system as a reference, right? No, no, we kind of did a brand new implementation. Oh, okay. we didn't took the Pfizer architecture. We kind of went from vanilla blue uh, green field. We did everything ourselves. Okay, for so it is then so, it is on S four Hana right now or. No, no, no. We still on SAP. Uh, we are not. Maybe in two years we might go to S for Hana, because we kind of stood up a new company. It's been five years old, so so we didn't want to go to Hana because we are still acquiring and kind of stabilizing ourselves. So we management decided not to go for Hana at this point. Maybe in, uh, I'm I'm hoping in two years they would they would go, they would go to S for Hana. So now uh, only the SAP SD implementation is complete. Huh? SAP implementation is complete. No, 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 everything complete. We are a complete yeah. SAP shop. We have all modules. Vistex is also implemented. Yeah, Vistex is also now comp- the rebate just went live in US. Pretty much all markets are live with everything now. DMP okay. chargebacks, rebates, everything. Okay. DMP is again like a separate module which I won't be covering. So we, yeah, we deal to them. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is like a different, uh, complete big uh, process to deal with. DMP, DMR, oh, okay. and, yeah, so b- big ones actually. Okay, okay. So, what component uh, we would see for Vistex? Uh, uh, Sunil, how do I? I'm in status now, so if I have to see, what? what yeah, I'll. Uh, yeah, I'll how you can check the vistex version like i'll show you so yeah. you are able to see my screen right yeah yes i can see your screen yeah so i'll just change the screen so this is little tricky so most of the guys <laughs> uh, really see is difficult to see yeah no i never thought about what version we are on so because since i was on the reporting side So, yeah. uh, so once we log in, uh, we have to go system from system status. System. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So we are still here. It's fine. So, so here. Oh, I know. Uh, okay, it's six. So we we check global functions in same cube. Yeah, yeah. We are in six zero e actually. Yeah, yeah. Six zero e is the main release, and the level will be. This will be differing, right? So we are training, in level four. We are in level four. Okay, we are in level four. So this training system is in one actually. So okay. Some other I have the same thing. We check global functions. We check payback module. Yeah. 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 Those are the two. So, we, so for any for any incentive and payback installation, so these two modules you can see in the. Top. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It differs. So the level differs based on the patch. So current one is like SP five. Okay. Oh, the current so is in current, SP five. Okay. SP five. Yeah. Okay, we are on four. Okay. So SP five kind of like supports the new functionality cloud. New Han Han also. Ah, uh, yeah, Han Apiori kind of thing. All those things. Yes. 
ഓക്കെ 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 ഡിസ്കസ്റ്റ് sales reports as this one like the uh, invoice will be the source document right source stocks similarly for uh, sales incentives so it will be invoice again so we have purchase reports so in this case uh, it will be purchase order purchase order So we have bill bags, bill bags, yeah. uh, here we have claims, okay, so that we can charge it again, we have uh, claims, claims, okay. So when these two come, to come into picture, uh, this case it will be like indirect rebate, okay, so the direct mm-hmm. sale will be based on invoice, okay. Mm-hmm. So, so in our system, we kind of, Uh, created this volume rebate incremental growth and seasonal rebate we have like four rebate yeah. types okay mm-hmm. and then we have estimated accrual yeah yeah you know. mm-hmm. okay so now we we'll just try to understand what are the main components which we have to define uh, for running okay. one part so three the plans which are telling right so one is volume one is volume growth, incremental so one is incremental yeah. one is seasonal yeah. Yeah, yeah incremental seasonal so each one is nothing but one one separate plan right so one one kind of rebate okay so okay, yes yeah plan, rebate sub types yeah. yeah yeah so for for each kind of rebate uh, to set it up in the system we have to we have to have these things in place okay so i am calling it as building blocks okay mm mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm. okay so first one is like the agreement request so i'll explain what it is individually okay so first okay. i will just list, list it down okay second mm-hmm. one is the agreement so similarly we have to have our ip type for this uh, there are like uh, three con- three three sub components we define ip type is there similarly define header header criteria so when i say header criteria it is nothing but uh, header cr- header control okay mm-hmm. similarly we have define uh, item criteria so for this to work and for our uh, pricing to pick up based on the agreement we have to define the pricing procedures okay so pricing mm-hmm. procedure we have to define so these are like high level components which we need similarly we have for accruals and settlement we need the accrual profile mm-hmm. similarly we also need the settlement profile settlement profile okay so agreement request this is basically used for uh, capturing the change logs or okay? change log for uh, april process okay? so this is not mandatory is this is optional okay but as a best practice uh, is tech suggest everyone to have it so it is used by almost all the clients agreement mm-hmm. request okay so agreement is nothing but the actual contract which is uh, between the manufacturer and the distributor okay? this is the mm-hmm. actual contract. So for this we define the equipment type okay this is called types config in everything it is called as type okay so mm-hmm. equipment request type equipment type ip type okay so equipment request type and equipment type both are almost similar only thing is like when we create equipment request type and post it 
then only the actual contract is created okay so okay. that is the first part so once the agreement is in place okay so now the transactional data here like the invoice is generated so invoice invoice is having c1 customer and m1 btt okay so in our agreement also we are having like c1 customer is eligible and uh, give two percent rebate for material okay or, uh, yeah two percent rebate for material m1 so in that case uh, what will happen uh, system has to create the vistex document right so for, for the vistex document to create and validate all the pricing we have to depend on IP type. IP so, type. Yeah, we have to defend the IP type. Then we have header controls. Similarly, we have the item controls. Okay, so linking between agreement and the IP is taken care by the pricing procedure. Okay, pricing conditions. They act as a interface between the agreement and the IP. Okay. So again, agreement the... and IP document. Yes, yes, yeah. So basically, okay. pricing procedure. Uh, Pricing procedure is the link between agreement and IP. Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So, like, because uh, let's take one small example. So, delivery customer. So, I'm defining it as. Uh, okay. So, this is the condition type example. Mm -hmm. I want to give a customer rebate. That is uh, okay. Two percent on invoice value. Two percent on invoice value. Similarly, I want to give a material rebate. Dollar per quantity. Okay, two dollars per each item. Two dollars per each item. So for this, uh, so if you observe, uh, these uh, these three are nothing but the uh, condition types, right? Which we have to mm -hmm. create based on the business scenario. Okay, so this is how the actual scenario will be, right? So mm -hmm. ultimately, if I want to give like uh, one more example, okay. so I want to give rebate based on the material group, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So and I want to exclude few materials, okay. So then what I will do? I will define one more condition, right? So exclusion condition. Mm -hmm. exclusion. We have eligibility like Z L one eligibility. Yeah. V Y X. VYX for exclusion. Yeah. So it can be this uh, starting with Z. Yeah. The remaining letters it can be anything. Okay. So it, right, right, right. It has to start with Z. So internally we will be doing like so much configuration again. We will be mm -hmm. going in detail. Yeah. Okay. So right, in, right. In, okay. in this case, I what I'm saying is like I want to give material group rebate, but at the same time, uh, in my exclude some material. Yeah, 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 I want to exclude some materials. So that one. Uh, like, like so is that material group rebate is not flexible group? No, 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 no. That is not flexible group. Hmm? No, no. Okay. That material group is nothing but the material group in the material master. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So I think. Yeah, yeah. So so this group that you are talking about is the SAP material group. But from the Vistex yes. standpoint, they talk, they can, they name it as flexible group. Yes. I mean, that's yes. how we call it as flexible group in okay. Vistex. Yeah. So flexible group is kind of two types. One is group of customers and group of materials. So in yes. that, we use these exclusion rules, YX00. So where you can exclude specific list, specific customers, as you mentioned, and also so, specific so, uh, materials. So SAP grouping is a uh, little different. So one thing uh, is like uh, the thing which you're talking the material group and customer group that is specific to the mass data, right? So flexible group is again uh, a small concept that is little different in this text. Okay. So there, uh, why it is given is like uh, 
for uh, business to have multiple combinations. So if you observe mm -hmm. in our in our case, uh, when I talked about eligible customer, the table will be like say Kuma underscore Right. So this is the table name, right? So for this one now again, the table group it will be Okay, so here Mackle is nothing but the metal group field. Okay, metal group is Mackle. Okay. So similarly, from my Mackle. So here, what we are doing is like uh, we are defining. We will be defining separate tables. I think we will like zero three for each one to work. We will be defining separate tables in each less zero three. Okay. So in flexible group, what we can do is like basically uh, we will define one group with these three, these uh, four fields. Mm -hmm. So now you will have the option like selecting either this one, this one, or this one. That that is the mm -hmm. difference. Okay. That is the mm -hmm. Okay. So so everything if you observe based on the business scenario, what we are doing is like first we are trying to Defend the conditions in the system. Okay, so for this condition mm -hmm. again, for this condition that again in the back end we'll be having like access sequence, right? So access sequence again we'll be having this table link, right? So this mm -hmm. will be defining as a pricing procedure. The same conditions we'll be having in our agreement request and agreement type. Okay? So. Mm -hmm. And 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 we do have different type of eligibility, like you know. Customer yeah. eligibility, uh, subgroup eligibility, or region eligibility. Yeah, different yeah, types of eligibility here. Yeah. yeah, so basically, how it works is like uh, in most of the cases, we use the customer, but uh, if customer, yeah, like, customer or group of customers, yeah, customer. subgroup, flexible group, so, or so tier. Region again, uh, region again is like. Uh, if the company is like, if in your case, as it will be operating in many regions, so they want to filter it based on the region itself. Uh, mm -hmm. We can also filter it based on the complete region. We get two percent rebate, kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's what we have. So based on the sales arc, also you can do it, but based on region, is, mm -hmm. uh, it is like uh, we are simply trying to segregate, okay, so so that uh, mm -hmm. system doesn't create any duplicate uh, rebates or something. Like to mm -hmm. it out. So you can have customer as eligible eligibility, you can have a group of customer, customer group as eligibility, material group you can have eligibility, right? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. similarly re region you can have so based on the business how it wants to compute the rebate, you can have different parameters. Mm -hmm. So these are basically like the billing blocks, I call it as for transaction process. Okay, so initially what we'll be doing is like we'll run one, we'll set up one complete uh, sales bit cycling system and we'll see how it works. Okay. So after okay. that, uh, we'll try to set up one bill back scenario also. So that is using claim as a source. So we'll be creating IP document, take role settlement, we'll try to do. That is the second okay. one. So after okay. that, uh, we are having fewer models like you know, purchase rebates, incentives, and uh, chargebacks. In those three models, I will be, I'll be explaining all the configuration in detail. Mm -hmm. So after that, and we will go to the uh, target based or uh, volume based rebates also. That also we will discuss. Yes. Yeah, you are asking something. And I was able to say uh, also the composite mod, right? Yeah, yeah, composite one is there, and I think the target based or volume based. Okay, okay. Composite based. So this process is, so these are the building blocks for uh, two processors. So this is the transaction model, right? Transaction mm -hmm. process. Similarly, we ran the composite uh, process. So this is target based, right? So for this, uh, Apart from these components, we need to have like other components. Uh, those are like uh, we have to define the bucket file and bucket profile. Bucket profile we have to define. Similarly, we have to define the deployment codes. 
the plug and component all these are there to kind of the back end okay mm -hmm. so what bucket will basically do is like uh, you want to check whether the customer has uh, reached the value okay so whether he has reached a specific value then only i want to give him very good saying if he has made a minimum sale of 100k then only i want to give him 2% on the invoice value okay so in that case what we will be doing is like uh, in transaction we are computing rebate at the document level, individual document level, right? So, mm -hmm. but in ta target base, we are not computing rebate in the IP document. Okay? So, here we are only just capturing the sales value. That is nothing but the PR double zero, that, that will be the price, right? So, that will capture and we will take it further. Okay. So, all the IP documents are aggregated, uh, they are captured in the buckets. Okay. So, mm -hmm. at, so at the end of the month, what we will do is that we will run, uh, we'll run the deployment code. Okay. So, that is nothing but we'll try to arrive at the numbers whether uh, this particular customer pertaining to, to a specific agreement whether he has uh, made the, he has reached the target or not okay so that again will be defining based on the scales or slabs in the agreement okay that also we'll discuss set up everything so after that we'll be doing the accrual and settlement Okay. So and what is it? The components and subcomponent. So these are part of the deployment code only. Okay. So just mm -hmm. to push the values, uh, we just uh, these are needed. So these three uh, come under uh, the plan actually. Deployment code only. Deployment mm -hmm. code is the main plan. Component, subcomponent are like uh, part of the deployment code. Okay. Okay. And where do we define this uh, CPD and PTD? Yeah, yeah, PTD, CPD, and configuration we'll have. So, okay. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll discuss on that also. So that is like uh, the general scenario. If the, if the business wants to have fixed periods, you can have CPD. But if you want to settle from the last settlement to till date, if you want to, if they want to vary sometimes settlement frequency. So in that case, uh, system will uh, be using PTD. So we'll, we'll, we'll go in details of that also. All of it. Okay. okay. I think maybe we can stop for today. Yeah, I think, yeah. Otherwise, uh, people okay. will miss it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know if this session was recorded. and I didn't hear that it's been recorded, but... Yeah, this is recorded. This. Okay. okay. If you see, it's recorded. This. Okay. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah no problem. Me, me number is under the like, uh, Yeah, I will send you. Yeah, you can just uh, send me an email. Uh, Sunil Trainings at Gmail. S U N I L Trainings T R A N G S at Gmail. You can drop me an email. I will come. Okay. At Gmail. Uh? Yes, yes. Sunil Trainings at Gmail dot com. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Sunil. Yeah, bye. Thank you.